Well, it's been a while since we've done the DIY project, so let's do it. Don't go away. All right, guys, it's going to be a pretty simple project. Uh, all you're going to need is a, uh, a drill with a couple of different bits. You'll need a uh, X-Acto knife. In my case, I'm going to use a couple pieces of paracord, but I'm going to use that to hang the thing up along the fence. A couple of screws, a nice little dowel or a block of wood or some kind of rod that you could use and attach some material uh, to, to make a catch. So let's just whip this guy together real quick. We'll put together a target and then we'll uh, hang her up and start shooting. I know it's hard to see with this with the glare, but I've marked out four spots on each corner where I'm going to start putting holes so I can cut out the, the front panel and uh, make an entry for the catch box. Using our X-Acto knife, we're going to carefully follow the crease that's already in the bucket uh, for our first cuts. So we'll go all the way down to each from hole to hole, and then we'll switch it over and do the other side. I had figured that most people had a drill, but not everybody would have an angle grinder, so I decided to use uh, an X-Acto knife, which I'm pretty sure everybody has. Using a ruler, we'll draw two lines, just to give us a line to follow, and we'll make our next two cuts to complete the hole for the catch box. I pre-drilled a couple of holes at the height that I want the uh, the curtain rod to hang, um, and I basically use just a wooden, a wooden dowel that'll fit in from end to end, and uh, I've attached some material to uh, use as the curtain in the catch box. Very simple, use just a couple of screws. Now I thought I'd mentioned that I did pre-drill the wood so it would avoid splitting, but this is pretty much self-explanatory. Line up the holes and then uh, just drill in your screws to hold it on nice and tight. Now to hang up this catch box, I needed a couple of holes to be able to pass that little tether to be able to tie this to the fence. So basically what I did is I popped a couple of pilot holes and then finished them all off with a proper drill, uh, drill bit later on. And uh, this will fit a piece of paracord perfectly. All right guys, so there you have it. The catch box is all built. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, go around the other side of the fence and hang this guy up with the paracord, tie it on good and tight in a, in a nice safe spot. And then uh, we're gonna make a target for it and we're gonna try it out. Sorry guys, we got, the, we got the catch box all set up. We got the curtain set up. Quick tip about the curtain. Try not to have it weighing down too much down on the bottom. It's gonna take more of the shots and sometimes they, they tend to bounce out. Uh, but also, um, It'll wear out your uh, your material faster by having it so hit something hard that doesn't move with it and absorb the shot. Uh, okay, all we got to do now is make a target and hook it up to these little holes that we drilled in there, and then we're gonna be ready to go and start testing this bad boy out. Once that's done, I'm gonna be showing you the magic of this catch box, and I think you guys are really gonna like it. So to make our flipper target, we're gonna use this rubber elastic, a couple of clips, and a flipper. We're gonna tie a couple of knots inside of it to make sure that the flipper stays centered. We'll uh, tie the first one on one side, then slide on the flipper, and then tie a knot on the other side uh, to secure it in place so it's going to stay basically centered in the catch box because it is a bit of a small box. Later on, we'll tie on two more uh, little clips on either side so we'll be able to attach it with ease and swap targets in and out uh, as often as we'd like. Now the target we're looking at here is a 40 mil flipper, but I am going to make a second one just off of camera. We're going to make this one and another one with a pheasant head and try them both out. All right, so now we're all set up. We got our little clasps, we can hook that up on and off and we can set up a whole bunch of different ones if we want to. Take our shots and uh, have a little fun with this guy. So, we're gonna set up one more target just for fun because it's been a while since I shot a pheasant head. We'll go take a, take a couple of shots at the, uh, at the catch box and then I'm gonna show you the magic of this catch box. All right, so hook up, it's gonna be pretty easy with our, with our with our little clips that we're going to be using, this is going to be pretty easy. Just pass it through. That's it. We're locked in, ready to go. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead, take your, uh, your, your spare guys, and drop it into the little cavity in the back. And it should be nice and safe in there from any, any kind of damage. And whenever you want to come by and switch this guy out and try a different, uh, uh, different target, you just clip this guy off. You can even let it hang, attach the second one, put it into the back, and you're ready to go. Let's take some shots. Today we're going to be shooting the Beagle version 1, one of my all-time favorite frames. It's a nice custom that Andrew made for me. We've got some uh, Celtic Caddy .6 on here with a pit locating pouch from GZK, and this is a 9.5 millimeter pouch, uh, but we're going to be shooting 8 mil steel today.
Beep. So the original plan was to use the valve to um, retrieve my ammo, but that turned out to be kind of troublesome. So I ended up uh, trying to unscrew it, but if you shot more than 10 or 15 shots, a lot of them would end up spilling out onto the floor. So that was a no-go as well. So to clear out all the ammo, probably the best way to do it is just with a magnet. Drop that in there, pull it out, you're ready to go. Having these threaded holes here uh, kind of give us a whole lot of opportunity for modification. We can attach piping from here, have it go all the way down there. We can have piping to go straight down into a bucket here to make sure that we, that we retain all of our ammo and we just have to scoop it up on the magnet like we saw earlier. Um, but uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this thing and I think it's gonna do a great job. And uh, this material I got in the back end here really uh, is tough and takes a beating. So anyway guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, maybe one of you guys can give this a try. Tell me how you like it. You guys, take care, get out and practice, stay safe, be good to each other. I'll see you again soon. I love you guys. You're freaking awesome. Get out and shoot. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. These kind of water jugs can be bought at any kind of uh, sporting goods store or hardware store. Uh, they cost almost nothing and they're dirt cheap. Yeah, I mean, you'll get these for under 10 bucks. With an old dirty shirt and a stick from the woods, <laughs> you can put this thing together no problem and it'll cost you next to nothing. This was actually perfect, so I can actually shoot off the deck on rainy days or uh, really, really hot sunny days. I'm going to put a little tarp up on my gazebo there, and I won't have to worry about uh, getting my head burnt. On this end screen here, I'm going to attach a couple of videos I think you might like. The first one's going to be the big barrel catch box that I made, and the second one's going to be the Steers Wild Slings uh, catch bag review. I think you'll like both these videos. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. You guys take it easy, stay safe, and shoot straight.